Okay, so Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to everyone. I am Eli Rashida and my partner Nur Izzatul Shahira will be your host for today's discussion and presentation. Before we start our discussion, how is everyone? Is everyone okay? Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes miss. Fine. Yes. Okay, Alhamdulillah, if everyone is fine, do take care of your physical and also your mental health, okay? It is very important to take care of yourself despite all, all of these assignments and works. Okay, so let's start our discussion by first we will recap all the lectures of redox titration from last week. I will let Hossi Zatul to tell us about the recap of redox titration. Okay, for the redox reaction, we can conclude a short form of reduction and oxidation. So the re reduction, as all of you know, is a gaining of electron while oxidation is loss of electron in a reaction. So for redox titration, the setup consists of titran and analyte with the redox potential system. Okay, the redox potential system commonly, uh, we know we use to measure using a platinum electrode with saturated calamine electrode as reference in the system. Okay, so that's all for the short briefing. So I think we can start the discussion for question of example now. So I think group C, you can start first, which is for the addition of 25 methyltrin part. Is it okay? Okay, miss. Okay. I will start share the screen first. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, so we will start first. Okay, so uh, before we discuss uh, the first question, can someone read? This equations for me first. Okay, wait, eh? I can. Okay, so um, the blue one, right? The red one, eh? The red one. Okay, so uh, let us first consider the titration of 50 ml of 0 0.1 molarity uh, Fe2 plus with 0 0.02 molarity uh, per manganese at a fixed pH of 1 using H2SO4. So calculate the potential after addition of 25 ml of titrain. Okay, so from this question, Alif, can you determine yeah. which one the titrain and which one is our analyte? Oh yeah, it's easy. Okay, so for um, the analyte, uh, of course we use uh, Fe2 plus and for the titrain is MnO4 negative permanganate. Okay, so can someone tell me uh, uh, for which our analyte will undergo what of reaction? Is it reduction or oxidation? So uh, can I answer or anyone else? Okay, can, can. Okay, okay, uh, okay. so for analyte, uh, it will undergo oxidation process and titrain will undergo reduction process. Okay, so uh, as Alif said, our analyte will be Ia2+, uh, which will undergo oscillations, and our titrain will be MnO4-, minus, which will undergo reductions. Okay, so this two is the half equation for these reactions, and from this half equation, we can make it a conclude or make an overall equation and proceed with the calculation. But before we proceed with the calculation, 
Can someone tell me why the stoichiometry of iron 3 plus and iron 2 plus here is 1, but in the overall equation, it has stoichiometry of 5? Can I answer? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So for the um, first, if if uh, if we when uh, if we want to uh, make a chemical equation, we must uh, have a balanced cell equation. So if you can see the permanganate have five electron. Meanwhile, for the Fe three plus have one electron. So uh, if we want to to cancel the both equation, we must have a five. Uh, so we must balance the equation for Fe three plus with uh, times five so that we can cancel each other so if we uh, can yeah, so we can see that uh, 5 mole of fe2 plus react with 1 mole of uh, permanganate so that yeah. okay so thank you ali okay. so now we will proceed with the calculations okay um so now I will explain for the calculation on how uh, we can uh, calculate the moles and proceed to find the E system. So firstly, before we can calculate the, uh, the E system, we need to find the initial mole, the moles added and also the final moles. So for initial moles, we will uh, have to calculate the number of moles for ion Fe2+. So from the question given, it is given the volume for ion Fe2+, which is 50 mL, and also uh, the concentration is 0 .0, 0 0.1 molar. So to find the number of mole, we will need to multiply the number of uh, the volume and uh, with the uh, concentration of ion Fe2+. So here we will need to multiply 50 mL uh, times with 0 0.1 molar of ion Fe2+, we will get the number of mole, 5 millimole. Next, we will proceed to calculate the uh, the most added when we add the titrant, which is ion permanganate. Uh, from the question, uh, it is given 25 mL of ion permanganate times with 0 0.02 molar of ion MnO4 minus. We will get the number of moles added is 0 0.5 millimole. So, the final mole for this uh, reaction is. Uh, for ion Fe2+, plus, we will get 4.5 millimole. For ion permanganate, we will get 0 mole. And for the product Fe3+, plus and, and Mn2+, plus, we will get 0 0.5 millimole. So before I proceed to uh, calculate the system, can someone tell me how uh, do we get 4.5 millimole for ion Fe2+, plus for the final mole? Yes, Alif? Okay, uh, so if we want got, yeah, get the final mole, the initial mole minus the added mole, so we can get the final mole. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, uh, so you. how about how about for ion permanganate? Why we get zero millimole? Oh, okay, because of we have consumed uh, all of the permanganate uh, ion. Right. Okay. Okay, that, yeah. that's correct. So next, okay. we will proceed to calculate the E system. Uh, Nisa, can you go to the next slide? Okay, thank you, Nisa. Okay, so now uh, after we uh, we have uh, calculated for all the moles we need to find, uh, we, we, we can calculate uh, for the E system. So to find the E system, we need to use the Nernst equation, which is E system equals to E naught cell, which is the standard cell, standard cell potential minus by 0 0.0592 over N number of electrons log Q. Q is equal to uh, concentration of product uh, over concentration of reactant. So, um, in this uh, reaction, uh, the standard cell potential is uh, Fe3, uh, ion Fe3+, which is uh, zero, 
positive 0 0.77 uh, volt minus by 0 0.0592 over 5, which is the number of electrons, log 4.5, which is the uh, the number of mole, the remaining mole uh, uh, that we calculated uh, before this, over 75, which is the total uh, volume of uh, solution, 50 mil of ion Fe2+, plus, plus with 25 mil of ion MnO4 minus. Then we need to, then we need to do to the power of five uh, over 0 0.5 millimole for Fe3 plus over 75, which is the total volume for uh, both, uh, both, um, both titrate and also analyte. Also, we need to uh, multiply to the power of 5, then we will get the answer for a system 0 0.71 volt. So, can anyone tell me uh, in this calculation for a system why we need to do uh, to do to the power of 5? Because the mole uh, of the ion is 5 in the overall equations. Yes, that's correct. Okay, uh, so uh, another question is, uh, in this reaction, um, why we need, uh, why the, the concentration of the product, where we need to plot for the uh, value of Q, why we need to choose uh, Fe2 plus over Fe3 plus? Why we uh, didn't use uh, MnO4 minus or Mn2, uh, MN2 plus? Do you understand my question? <laughs> can you repeat uh, can you, the question? Repeat? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, to calculate the E system, uh, can we need to uh, calculate the value of A? We need to plot for the value of Q, right? In the Nance equation. So, for the value of Q, why we need to put the concentration uh, product over reactant, we choose Fe2 plus over Fe3 plus. Why we didn't use uh, Mn2 plus uh, over MnO4 minus ke? Kenapa kita choose Fe2 plus over Fe3 plus? So anyone want to answer or I can try? Anyone? Yes, I try to answer. Yeah, nak try. <laughs> okay, then I'll say this. Sebab Fe2 plus ni dia access. So kita guna yang access punya untuk dapat untuk dapatkan e system tu betul ke macam uh, bet uh, rasa macam betul tapi uh, uh, kalau <coughs> kita nak lagi spesifik uh, kalau macam in redox saturation ni yang Izzah faham lah uh, uh, untuk plot nilai Q tu kita ambil maksudnya untuk kira uh, e system tu kita pilih ion yang dominan dekat dalam redox saturation Kalau macam dalam soalan ni kan uh, yang uh, dominant adalah ion Fe2 plus dengan ion Fe3 plus kan sebab both reactant and also product ada value. Faham tak? Uh. Kalau macam MnO4 minus ni pula dia punya value dah kosong sebab dia dah totally consumed by Fe2 plus to form the product kan. Uh, so sebab tu lah dominant kita kena tengok pada dominant untuk untuk uh, kira dia punya E system. Uh, ya yeah, betul, uh, saya tambah sikit eh. Uh, so maksudnya macam MnO4 per minit itu kita masukkan 5 mil dalam sistem. So 25 mil tu akan habis. Uh, value jadi kosong bila dia react with uh, Fe, Fe3+. Right. Uh, betul. Uh, okay. Okay, okay so uh, you boleh proceed. Bisa saja, okay. Kasih. Okay, so any questions for 25 mil? Everyone can understand, right? Yes. Okay, so that's all from uh, our group, Group C. Okay, thank you, Group C. A good and clear presentation. So far, if there is no question for group C, let's proceed to group D for the addition of 50 milliliter titrant part. Okay, group D, you can start now. Okay, 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. So, so for today my group will present, will show the calculation of reduct titration. We are from group D. My name is Nordiana Fahana and my group's member is Agalia Seri, Aida Afika and Siti No Azira. Next slide. Uh, next slide, Aida. Okay, the question is, let us consider the titration of 50 milliliter of 0 0.1 molar parent 2 plus with 0 0.02 molar MnO4 minus per manganet at speed of what? At speed pH of 1 using H2SO4. Calculate the potential after addition of 50 milliliter of titrant. We show here the parent 3 plus plus E plus electron and we can Fe2 plus and the electron potential is 0 0.77 and Y and NO4 minus plus H plus plus 5 electron to magnesium ion plus 4 water become and its electron potential is 1.51 volt. So next slide. Okay, before we start the calculation, we have to identify the analyte and titrant. So from the the question, we know that Fe three Fe two plus is the analyte because it gives the fit uh, solution, fit volume and concentration, and the, why the MnO four minus is a titrant. For the second step is we have to balance the half cell equation and which we know that uh, from the equation it show the difference from electron while Fe2 plus have Fe3 plus have one electron while MnO4 minus has five electron and we have to times five to balance the to make the both equations same for electron, so we can cross the electron. But we have time for the chemical equation only, not for the electron potential. So next part. Hey everyone, can you hear my voice? Yes. Yes. Uh, Okay, I can I continue this calculation in step three, which is we need to find the initial mole change mole and the excess moles uh, concentration times uh, with volume. First, for initial mole of ferrum two plus. Um, we multiply the concentration 0 0.1 molarity with the 50 ml and produce 5 moles. The change of mole after uh, we added 50 mole of mole can be calculated by 0 0.0 is 1 millimole. Next, I will pass to Ida to continue. Okay, for mole Fe3 plus form is 1 millimole because uh, that's the addition that we add. And then for the mole excess Fe2 plus is 5 millimole minus 1 millimole, which is uh, 4 millimole um, because we minus from the initial to the uh, mole added. So I pass to the next step. Next, please. Okay. Can everyone hear my voice? Uh, yes. 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 So, step four will be your final step. So, now, 
in order to calculate the concentration of your Fe2 plus and your Fe3 plus, therefore, you need to know the formula. So N over V. So N represented by number of mole and your V will represent it by the total volume. So in this case, you need to know that your total volume equals to 100 mil. So now concentration of Fe2 plus, which is the excess in this equation, equals to 4 millimole over 100 ml, equals to 0 0.04 molar. Next, for the concentration your, of your Fe3 plus, it would be 1 millimole over 100 ml, equals to 0 0.01 molar. Next. Okay, so now, as Isa from groups, uh, Group C stated that this E system, it's totally... Um, referred to domain, which means in this equation, you need to know that your domain is your Fe2 plus, which is excess. So in order to calculate your E system, therefore you need to, uh, you need to know the formula uh, for the E system, which means E degree Fe2 plus minus with 0 0.0592 over N log reactant over product, close bracket, your coefficient. So in this case, your reactant will be your concentration of Fe2 plus, whereas your reactant for the concentration uh, for product will be your Fe3 plus. So the N equals to five and your coefficient will be five, which means the coefficient will be your to the power of five. Okay, so your N and coefficients since they are same, therefore you can cancel off and you will get the answer for E system equals to positive 0 0.743 watt. Next. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, before I want to end my conversation, I just want to state that there are several nodes that we need to measure in this case, which are firstly, this equation which means this calculation completely prioritized to your uh, domain, which means in this case, your domain is Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus. Next, we need to refer to Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus in this whole calculation because as I said before, it is prioritized to your excess. Next, because MnO4, why, why this equation is prioritized to your excess means because in this case, your MnO4 is completely reused, uh, sorry, completely used up in this whole reaction. Whereas if, uh, so that after 50 ml of MnO4 is added to your reaction, the MnO4 is completely used up. Whereas for the Fe2+, it just used one millimole, leaving four millimole in excess. Therefore, this equation is prioritized to your domain, which is Fe2+. So that's all from us, from group D. Thank you. Okay, okay thank, thank you, group D. Okay, good job with the presentation. It's a very clear presentation about the redox reaction. So far, is everybody okay with the presentation? Any question? Uh, no, Miss. Okay, so... No. Uh, yes, we okay, Miss. I have, I have a question. Okay. okay. What's the question? Uh, okay, so uh, the uh, in the questions, can someone explain to me why we need to use the fit pH of one? We using the sulfuric acid. In the our ML of minus. So anyone to answer the question? Um, the question, Nisa cakap, kenapa kita guna fixed pH eh? Ah, yes. Oh, um, kita tahu lah, maybe sebab kita 
kalau kalau kita guna H2 so far tu maybe sebab salt bridge kan tapi kalau fixed bridge um, not sure lah kenapa eh uh, Uh, from my point of view, I guess uh, it provides H plus necessary for the reaction. Therefore, we need to use H2SO4. Extra H plus la, like that. Okay, thank you, Sri. What to jump in there? I don't know, Sri, I see. Okay, any other question? No, eh. No other I question from the floor? There are no other question. I think that's all for today. Right? Uh, so, I will upload the recorded discussion and share to you guys later. Okay, I think that's all. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Thank, thank, thank you, everyone. Bye. Right, thank Take you. Care. Bye. Bye. Bye.